I think having medical students and residents would be a very significant an important thing to do. And I think it serves a number of purposes. One, I think as we try and build training programs and, and transfer skills, I think certainly residents and senior residents, I think, have a role to play in being able to help with that. And I think, you know, even a, a resident that's training here in urology or general surgery, you know, who goes and does a rotation overseas, I think there's real value in that, even if they don't want to ever go and, and work in, in a global health environment again. And I, I think what it does is it teaches you to think and make decisions without necessarily having, to be, in terms of being out of your comfort zone. And so I think sometimes being exposed to what people can manage, what people can live with, making decisions that you may not necessarily make here, but because you don't have uh, you know, the, the piece of equipment you, you normally would, you, you may choose to treat something conservatively. So this idea of reinforcing this concept of avoiding harm, I think it actually is a good exercise to go through. I think what you realize when you go through medicine and surgery is you'll never see everything. There's always something new you're going to see. And even here, there's, you know, there's always a complication that, you know, you, you may not have seen before and all you can do is draw on your experience. You know, the common things we see in Malawi are not that different than what we see here. You know, we see men with avoiding dysfunction, we see uh, advanced prostate cancer. The one big thing that's different that I've seen in, in, in that part of Africa that I don't see here is, the, is a different kind of bladder cancer. And so bladder cancer in the developed world is, a, is essentially a like occupational or smoking related disease. It's a transitional cell carcinoma. Uh, and and I, you know, and in, in that part of the world, it is really a complication of infectious disease. It's a really a complication of schistosomiasis, which is a parasite, as we know, and is endemic in that part of the world. And, um, and so with squamous cell carcinoma, which is something that I may have seen once or twice uh, well, a few times over the years and 22 years of practice here and is usually due to other forms of chronic inflammation. You know, you only read about schistosomiasis primarily when you're, you know, you're, you're working to, you know, to uh, prepare for our exams here. And so something that I may have seen once in 22 years and somebody who had had a travel history and had spent significant time in Africa. You know, my first trip to Malawi in uh, June of, uh, you know, uh, in a couple of years ago when I was there was, um, I think I saw probably eight schistosomiasis bladder cancer patients in a two-week span. And, and so that's, you know, that's uh, eye-opening at many levels, right? A, it's a completely different disease process, you know, but it speaks to really a public health issue, right? So even though the impact is, and the, the consequence is surgical, it is, it is rooted in the, the fundamental issue is how do you address that at a public, at a public health level, right? You know, in terms of, prevention and you know you know if you're you know uh, and, and finding these these people how do you implement praziquantel appropriately as a prophylactic dose um, so it's pretty shocking right that uh, that it would be something completely different and uh, but but uh, but very much a common thing an endemic thing I would say we, we can't solve everything and sometimes you know my role and my goal is to ensure there's nothing meaningful or significant um, you know, that needs to be uncovered and managed. So I brought that perspective, I think, a little bit. I think on a process in the OR side, you know, we complain, I think, about a lot of uh, issues with, uh, in our own healthcare system. You know, it's challenged, it's not probably resourced. It isn't resourced as, uh, as, as, as to, the way, to the extent that we would like to do it in. You learn to manage, you know, I think we're still doing pretty good. So it's sort of reinforced, you know, I mean, notwithstanding, I think, we do need to resource and, and look at our system a little bit better, but it, but it has taught me maybe to appreciate that a little bit more as well.